next. It's been more than five years since the launch of GRTC Pulse Line, and now the transit agency is working to add several larger buses to its fleet. They say this is an effort to meet the growing demands of riders, but this also means more construction on Broad Street. Don't shoot the messenger. 8 News reporter Madison Moore is at GRTC headquarters to give us some background on this and what people need to know. GRTC says there's roughly 7,000 people who ride the Pulse each day, and with people returning to work post-COVID, they think these new accordion-style buses will help meet that ridership demand. 13 GRTC Pulse buses run from Rockets Landing to Willow Lawn in Henrico County every day. But come 2025, four larger buses will make their way down the rapid transit line. So this means more service, better frequencies, and fewer missed buses. GRTC communication specialist Henry Benden says GRTC expects Pulse ridership to go up in January of 2024, saying that they'll be running service at full frequencies, including weekends, and expect more people will be working away from home. The new 60-foot accordion-style buses will offer 120 seats in comparison to the current 40-foot buses that hold 75 people. Benden tells me that over time, GRTC will eventually replace the current fleet with the 60-footers. We're investing in better service, more capacity, and more riders on an already really successful rapid transit line. This year, 1.3 million people have taken a ride on the Pulse Line through September. That's compared to 1.6 million people in 2022 and roughly 2.2 .2 million rides in 2019 before the COVID pandemic. Each new bus will roughly cost $1.1 million, funded by taxpayer dollars through two state grants. But with these new bigger buses also comes construction. Alterations must be made to all 26 pole stations along the Broad Street route. We don't want to diminish the fact that this is going to be an inconvenience. These aren't full station reconstructions by any means. It's just changing the way the platforms work so that we can open a third door onto them. Construction is expected to start on all the Pulse bus stations this upcoming February, and the new buses should be on the road by 2025. In Richmond, Madison Moore, 8 News.